Hey guys, uh, another another day, another vinyl collection video installment thing. Um, if you guys wonder why I'm dressed like this, I just got out of class, so I'm just like, you know what? I'll make a I'll make the video right now. You know, while I'm in the mood, I guess. Um, I finished most of my assignments anyway, so you know, time to time to do a bit of break. You know, time to vlog a bit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Well, last time we left our death grips, and I just noticed that. On the introduction of Death Grips, I actually said Dead Kennedys. You know, that, Dead Kennedys that powers the B, that, that was embarrassing of me. I'm sorry about that. Don't, don't kill me, Dead Kennedys fan. Um, yeah, um, I'm sorry about that. But moving on. We have D'Angelo and the Blood... The Bear! That was bad. Sorry, that word. We have D'Angelo and the Vanguard. Black Messiah. Uh, this was a 2014 album. Yeah, fantastic grooves on there. If you're looking for some funk, jazz... Just groovy music. The Angel is a great is a great start. Um, I just noticed, and people think the Angel is fan. The Angel fan or just music like music fan as a whole is gonna hate me. Um, I just noticed the from 2014 because my friend, uh, not my friend, sorry, my uh, some of the music uh, music reviewers and YouTubers that I follow said, yeah, you gotta listen to this, and I just realized he released like. An album way back when, like Voodoo, I forgot what that thing was. Listen, uh, release. I think it was nineteen ninety six. No, it was it was earlier than that. I think. No, it was later than that. I think. But anyways, yep. Daniel and Vanguard Black Messiah, and it's a gatefold. That's a uh, that's the Angelo there. That's a quote from the song um, "The Charade." Uh, Perpetrators beware, say a prayer if you dare for the believers or the pain, so on and so forth. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Let's say the whole quote because it's gonna take time. Um, the vinyl is actually. Um, actually, the sleeves is just black, and the vinyl itself is black. So nothing special about the. Nothing special about the vinyl, but the packaging is pretty solid. Is solid because you have liner notes here, and um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna oh yeah, I'm gonna cover that because that's that's a download code. <laughs> um yeah, so that's the that's the thank you note and that's the liner note. Oh uh, not the liner note, that's the whew, that's the lyrics. Favorite tracks from here. Sugar Daddy. Sugar Daddy is great. Sugar Daddy is awesome. Uh hundred hundred thousand deaths, the charade, sugar daddy really love. Back to the future, till it's done, betray my heart, the door. Just a lot of great tracks. Again, catchy, groovy, funk, jazz, music. Listen to this. No said. You got I don't got to say no more. Is that how you, is that how, you, is that how he did it? I ain't got to say anything no more or some shit like that. Fucking bird man. Um yeah, moving on. Classic West Coast. Hip hop, Dr. Dre the Chronic, Dr. Dre the Chronic, classic West Coast hip hop. If you look, yeah, I really have nothing to say about this. Uh, nothing much to say about this. Just if you're looking for some West Coast hip hop, I guess, yeah, Dr. Dre the Chronic and Snoop Dogg's a doggy style. Great place to start. Insert Dr. Dre with that cool ass car. I think that's a Cadillac. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not great on cars. Uh, we have the track listing there, and um, oh, with I just noticed um, these are with marijuana leaves in the back. That was pretty funny. Um, speaking of marijuana leaves, it's actually with marijuana in the middle. It's marijuana leaves as well. Well, what do you know? You just can just chill there. Get high album, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah. Just a lot of classic tracks. Fuck with Dre Day. Let me ride. Um, nothing but a G thing. These not. Oh, these not just a funny insert. A little ghetto boy. Rat tat tat. -tat. Bitches ain't shit. Oops. Um. Yeah. Great. Great. West classic West Coast hip hop. Could not recommend. Anything more than a great high school? Let's go to the top. Maybe the first three Ice Cube al albums. 
and NWA, of course. But you already know that. You already know that. Yeah, I don't. I don't gotta tell you that. Come on. Come on. Um. Yeah. Moving on. The very best of Everly Brothers. Um. I got turned on by the Everly Brothers because I liked Simon Garfunkel, and Simon Garfunkel mentioned that the Everly Brothers was one of their biggest influences uh, because they harmonize a lot. So. I, I went searching, I, I, I looked up some of their stuff, and I liked them. And this is actually a really good compilation because it has one of my favorite, um, what's it called? My favorite track, Bye Bye Love. Bye Bye Love. Da, 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 da. Bye Bye Love. So on and so forth. But yeah, it has a little, um, this is a second hand, and it has like a little writing there. I don't know what, what, what that writing means. It could be a conspiracy. Wait, yeah, I think that's the right word I was looking for. If you look, um, if you like Beach Boys, early Beach Boys before Pet Sounds, as in like before they got really, really mellow. I mean, Pet Sounds is still my favorite. One of, this is my favorite Beach Boy rec Beach Boys record. But um, if you're looking for a happier '60s music, um, yeah, Everly, this is a great place. This is a not bad place to start. Everly Brothers. Moving on. Oh yeah, it's there already. Um, we have uh, the Fertellas, Costello Music, Garage Rock. Um, I think they're from the UK. Um, yeah, if you're looking for some Garage Rock, Brock, I won't say punk. This is not punk at all. Um, check out the Fertellas. Costello, Costello Music is a great place to, to start, mind you. Um, another thing is, if you like the Cooks, I think you'll like this too. Uh yeah, one of my favorite favorite tracks, Henrietta Flathead, Country Country Boys with a C U N T. I don't know why. And City Girls, Whistle for the Crier, Chelsea Dagger, uh, Creeping Up the Backstairs. Yep, just a lot of great tracks here. Um, this is a very interesting packaging actually. So first of all, we have the big F for fuck you. Just kidding. it's for Fortellis. And this is uh the liner notes. We have we have a pen up girl down bottom. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now we have the vinyl here. The vinyl? What the fuck? What the hell is happening? What the hell is, what the hell is happening, bruh? Anyway, let me put that back in. Um, this is a black sleeve. Nothing too special, but the vinyl is actually in green. Ooh. So cool, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I need to play this more actually. I haven't played this in a while. Um, I don't know why though. Maybe just because I've been. Yeah, I don't know. I feel happy today. I might put. I put this on. I'm. I, yeah. I, I'll put this on. I feel happy today. Like sometimes, you, like with these stuff, if you feel happy, you just put it on. Yeah, for Telus, Grass Rock, definitely recommend it. Aha! Now this is an album that you have to check out if you're a hip-hop fan, in my opinion. Um, Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib, Pinata. Came out in 2014 in Stone's, Stone's Throw Records. Still listen to some of their tracks till today. Till today. I still listen to that. This is just a fantastic album. Um, if you guys don't know, Freddie Gibbs is a Gary Indiana rapper. I wasn't too big on him when I first, you know, heard a couple of their couple of his songs, and um, that Madlib was about to do this project. However, with Madlib, I've known him since Mad Villain. I mean, the beat conductor, Quasimodo, uh, the Loop Digger, a lot of AKs. Um, pff, shit, I really got nothing to say. Just the fantastic album. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, if you're looking for some good hip hop, great, not good, great, fantastic hip hop, listen to Pinata. Um, there's so many good tracks. The beats, Malib is just a genius at making beats. Just pure genius at making beats. Real hip hop, I, I think, uh, in my opinion. Um, but, um, I would say that his beats are experiment, uh, old school, but uh, you know, a touch experimental. Maybe just because of the samples he put, 
he puts in the he puts in the songs. Favorite track, Thug in Shitsville, um, Robes, Blakers, Shame, Pinata, High, Heralds, lot. Funny enough, I did not know. I've been listening to this song for a really long time. I did not know Michi Darko of Flatbush Zombies actually was in Pinata. I really didn't know. I, I, to be honest, I really, really didn't know. So that was pretty interesting. Michi Darko from Flatbush Zombies. Uh, Three thousand one, Alice Odyssey just came, and I, 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 I like, I love that project. But then again, it make it, it would make sense. Uh, now that I think about it, that Michi Darko would fit in that uh, production style. But yeah, great hip hop album. Check it out. Moving on. Okay, this record I'm gonna have. I'm going to talk a bit because it holds one a very special place in my heart. Fort Minor's Rising Tide. I've been listening to Fort Minor ever since. Um, Middle school, even though, uh, yeah, I know, I understand it's really late considering I'm a Lincoln Park fan. So with, in middle school, um, my friend was just like, hey dude, you gotta check out Mike Shinoda's um, uh, side project. It's like, what's what's the side project? It's called um, Fort Minor. Fort Minor? And then I listened to Believe Me, Where'd You Go, and all, and all sorts of tracks. And I was just like, oh, this is actually a really good... These are really good songs. I love them. And my other friend, uh, you know who you are. My other friend um, kept sending me songs. So I'm just like, dude, listen to this. Dude, listen to this. Listen to the whole Fort Minor one by one. And I was just like, shit, this is really great. So I listened to the whole album. And I still listen to it until today. And I just love, I love Rising Tide. This is a great hip-hop album. If you want to get into hip hop as a whole and just step into it, this is a really not a bad place to start. The hooks are catchy. Uh, Max Shinoda has a good flow, and uh, Takbir and uh, Ryu complements each other real well with Max Shinoda as well. Look at that! Look at that! Fantastic Gateful, one of the best cover arts I think, in my opinion, that I've seen in my life. Um, next to um, Baroness, any 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 Baroness album covers those are fucking fantastic but yeah this is actually one of my favorite album covers period i think um it's a double lp what's the cool thing about this it's the lp is in teal green whoa okay it's not teal green if i show it to the light but no no it's not gonna work um but i can assure you if you trust me no not if you trust me believe me Believe me, it's teal green. It's not like transparent white or anything like that. It's it's green. It's it's teal green. Come on, I know my colors. I know my colors, sort of. Um. Okay, we have a liner note here. Uh, I love the packaging in this, and I always love. F Oops. <laughs> well, I always like Fort Miners. Um. Fort Miners, uh, sorry, not Fort Miners, Mike Shinoda's drawing. It's just fantastic. You got the lyrics here. If, we, if you're gonna ask me what's my favorite track, uh, no. I'm, I'm gonna go on, on and on and on and on and on about it, and we don't have that much time. So, I'm gonna show you this. This is a double LP. Pretty cool, right? Shit, where is it? But on the other side, hang on, I need to get get this right around, right. Okay, if you can see, okay, this is blank, but I'm, I'm trying to show that, so you can see that that's actually, oh, you can see actually you see my window. That's actually the uh, the etching of what's it called the, the 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 album cover. Pretty fucking cool, man. So cool, dude. So cool. I love this album. I've been listening to it since middle school, listening to high school, and hell, in university, I still listen to this once in a while. Such a great album. I fucking love this album. Okay, that, that's, that's gonna be me rambling about Fort Minor for a bit. 
Hang on. Is it this way? Yep. Oops. Okay. Moving on. Uh, Genesis self-titled album. If you like Phil Collins, 80s groove, 80s dance music, great place to start. Great place. Um, funny enough, Genesis, I think he he's really underrated in Genesis, in my opinion, Phil Collins. And he, his song topics are pretty interesting as well. Um, illegal aliens about, you know, um, being an illegal immigrant in America, which is... And the funny thing is, it's groovy. You can dance to it. That's the funny thing, in my opinion. I mean, come on, that's 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 funny. Um, yeah. So the themes are here, and you can see the lyrics. My favorite tracks: um, "Home by the Sea," "That's All," "Illegal Alien," as I mentioned. Taking all, taking it all too hard, is a great track. It help, it helped me a lot through uh, difficult times. Um, I mean, just like the title itself, um, you're taking it all too hard, just, you know, you're taking it too hard, calm down for a bit, and mellow a bit down, and work on it. <laughs> I think that's my exam, <laughs> that's my exam track, you're taking it all too hard, just calm down and don't do anything, just kidding, um, just calm down and work yourself to it, yeah. I got I got turned to Genesis um, by my dad actually. My dad turned on um, Invisible Touch, and ever since then I love Genesis. Genesis, and I love Phil Collins too. Moving on. Yeah, you guys know this. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One, awesome mix. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it. I think that's my favorite Marvel. A movie next to um, Civil War and um, probably Age of Ultron, actually. Um, yeah. This is a great compilation. I was just, I, 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 I felt like an obligation to get it because, like, it was an old, it was old school songs and I have this old school format to the vinyl. So I was just like, you know what? Maybe I should, maybe I should get this on vinyl. Maybe I should, and I did. Uh, actually, funny enough, this is the last copy I got in that record store. Uh, the record, sh yeah, the record shop. And <laughs> oh, people's gonna get pissed. <laughs> Moving on. Herman's Hermits, uh, the best of. I got this uh, on another record store day, and in re another record store. Funny enough, um, I got turned on by Herman's Hermits by my friend who introduced me through. This 45. And. Sorry. And he said to me, if you like the 60s Beach Boys, definitely check. If you like 60s pop Beach Boys, check Herman's Hermits out and also Everly Brothers. And I love it ever since. Herman's Hermits. This is actually the exact same copy of my friend. Uh, maybe with a different varying tracks, but it was close. It was almost the same. It was. Uh, it contains all their greatest hits. And. Yeah. Thank you, friend. You know who you are. Um, this is this is the, it was funny. I've been looking for a Herman's Hermits record that's like exactly like my friends, and I found that it's nearly perfect. So and I think and and I think and my friend's gonna my friend's gonna be mad at me. I think this is um, the better best of, best of. Suck it. I got the better the better one. Um, yeah, it's my favorite track here. There's a kind of hush. No, no, no. I'm into something good. I'm into something good. Um, sea Cruise, Mrs. Brownie Got a Lovely Daughter, No Milk Today. Um, yeah, Here Comes the Star is nice. 60s music. Okay, I, have one, I can do one more. I can do one more and then we're done. I'm a bit searching it. Ah. Iron Maiden's Power Slave. What do you want me to say more? Iron Maiden for me is the go-to metal band if you want to get into metal. Great, great. And where to start? Start from their first album, to be honest. His their first the seven albums is probably their best albums. No, their their period, their best albums period. Um, yeah, Iron Maiden, and this is just my personal favorite mainly because it's how, how epic and there's so many guitar solos and just great guitar riffs. 
and just oh god this album this album get pyramid there um oh yeah the sleeves are really interesting the sleeve is interesting so i'm gonna take this out oh. there you go you got bruce dick bruce dickens in there so awesome look at that pretty cool it's a it's a reissue it's not as it's not 180 grams. I don't think so. Oh, it's, it, it feels it feels pretty heavy though. That's for sure. Favorite tracks from here: "East Is High," "East Is High," um, Two Minutes at Midnight," "Lost World." Uh, there's so many. "Duelist," "Power Slave," "No," "Back in the Village," "Ram of the Ancient Mariner." Even though it's really fucking long, it's a great track in my opinion. If you're looking, if you just want to get into metal. Iron Maiden is just my go-to for a good metal album, metal band. Yeah, I need to get more metal albums. Actually, I've been, I'm, I've been wanting to get some black metal, maybe some um, uh, Leviathan or Panopticon, and some uh, thrash metal, uh, some uh, Vector, which is pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, maybe a bit Metallica. I've been listening. My dad, my dad loves the uh, Master of Puppets Metallica. He loves that album. But yeah, just like the tomb there. Thank you for watching of this installment of my vinyl collection, and I will have more of these soon. And yeah, okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I will I will do part three sooner or later, probably really soon. Um, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Whatever the fuck you are. Um, and that's it. Peace.